Hey guys, what's up? So I was recording my next run of Into the Gungeon, and I realized I didn't have my audio recorded. So now I get to record it again. So I'm just going to do a little voiceover for it. So I have my run over here on my second screen, and I'm just going to be talking about what I did in it. And hopefully I can actually start talking about what I'm looking for, what my goals are for this channel. So let's get started. So, I actually did the resets before this run, so I'll have no characters, I won't have any of the special guns, nothing, none of the NPCs. Right. Throughout the galaxy, a legend is told. Fortunately, this takes a little bit. On a distant planet, a grim fortress stood. Until a deadly force parted the heavens and descended upon the keep. Though brought to ruins, the ashes of that place held an artifact of impossible power. A gun that can kill the past. Over time, the fortress was rebuilt. And some who hear the legends would risk everything for another shot. To claim their price and make what was done Undone. They must dun, dun, dun. enter the gungeon. So, fortunately, I had the mod still up, so that just changed the title screen. I have no idea what I was talking about right here. Probably that I reset the game. Alright, <laughs> we're playing. So, right here I'm showing, saying that I don't have anything. Only the three hunt, or the four main characters. Fun times. Just bouncing back and forth. This is where I'm talking about the reset for sure. So, while I'm jumping around the characters being annoying. So, what I want to do with this channel. I'm choosing the hunter because she's my favorite, probably my favorite beginner class. She has a good starter weapon with her crossbow. She also has that dog. So, of course, gotta pick the hunter. So I'm trying to enter, but I had to. I realized I had to do the tutorial. So I'm heading over to the tutorial, talking to this guy. But what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Here to change the past, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. I was like you once. Came to change the past. And now, I have no future. <laughs> oh, what a poor dude. Pet the dog right there. <laughs> so, I had to do the tutorial first. Wayward so approach me and press E to speak. For it is I, Sir Manuel. Heed my words, and I shall show you how to survive this accursed place. Continue through the door and begin your tutelage. Alright. Onward to greatness. I don't know why I do those spins, but... I don't know. They, I like them. Try flipping these tables or kicking those barrels with the E button. I just realized I didn't even flip the barrels. I just started flipping tables. Sir Manuel was here. Press E to flip one of these tables. Yeah, get angry. Excellent interaction, pupil. Proceed to the next room. Tutorial's not too bad. Just have to talk to this guy. This is the most important lesson. You can dodge roll by, rest by pressing right click in an end a direction. You are invulnerable to gunfire during the first half of the dodge roll. 
but vulnerable again when you hit the ground. That means you can dodge through bullets and other hazard hazards. It requires precise timing. When you get the word, I'll open the barrier. Use the dodge roll to reach the right side of the room without perishing. Wait until the last second, then press right click to begin the roll. Are you ready to begin the test? Alright, ready. Gotta wait for this dude to put the barrier down, then just do some rolls. Very fun. There he is. Nice work. And I move on. An impasse. Use your dodge roll to jump over that pit. Approach the edge and press right click to move while moving to cross the gap. You had to jump that crevice. Just had to jump all over the water. Then he has to say, you had to get this last pit, and I already did, so, three times. The dodge roll is the first and best way to avoid dying. Sometimes though, the number of bullets can be overwhelming. For instance, there's no dodging through that, but there is a way to clear the path. These are called blanks. Using one will delete all enemy projectiles in a room, stop enemies from shooting for a short period of time. They will also push nearby enemies away, right if you need a second of reposition. Pick them up by walking over to them. Use them by pressing the Q button. Use a blank to clear the way of the bullets and then quickly make your way through the gap. They destroyed that wall over there. You can see all the dust underneath it. I believe I'm talking about how there's a secret in these areas. Like a little secret in the tutorial area. Excellent. Links refill every floor, so use them when you need to. They can also be found throughout the dungeon, but I wouldn't rely on that. Onward. And how I was uh, gonna try and find those secrets which I embarrass myself. You got the basics, ma'am. I suppose you're ready for combat, I guess. A gun, befitting your stature and experience. Go on, open it. The pea shooter, baby's first gun. Use the mouse to aim and let's click to fire. What? That's a surprise. Reload with R, but first you'll need something to shoot. One of the gungeon's natural inhabitants, cruel, savage, and bloodthirsty. Amazing. Terrifying. Now, kill him. Just missing like most of my shot and him. Cold-blooded. Truly, you are ruthless. The next rooms will be real gunfights. Kill all the enemies in each room, and the doors will open. I'll meet you a few he rooms ahead. Now go. All right, bye. Looking for the little secret room. And just gotta kill these guys. I'm missing a bunch of shots because this gun has horrible grouping. Looking for a secret room again. I'll explain why I'm shooting the walls a little later in the tutorial, so. Gotta kill these nerds. Right. Another one spawn. Easy peasy. There he is. Over here. You made it! You know how to dodge roll, shoot, and use planks, but there's more to learn. You need to know how to use items that don't exist in gun form. This mech kit, for example, it will replenish your health. Pick it up by approaching it and hitting the E button. You got plenty of health right now, so don't use it yet. But when you think you need to, jam the space button to use it. Okay, head on through. Thanks. Gotta check for secrets first. Alright. Teleport room. When you see that thing on the other side, that's a teleporter. Whenever you find one, you can always return there as long as you aren't in combat. To use it, first open the map by holding tab, then click whatever symbol <laughs> you wish to warp to. Obviously, the teleport symbol. Got it, or should I explain again? Good. Now use the teleporter to cross that gap. Was this the room I embarrassed myself in? Yep. 
Do you see that I'm putting to it right there? Remember, you can warp to any teleporter on the map, not just the ones in the same room, but they won't work if you're in combat. If you press E while standing on that portal, you can use it to teleport back to where you were. I'll be waiting a few rooms north of here. You should explore. Try to find a better gun before you challenge the boss. So here I make a big mistake. I think that's the secret room. I shoot it, but then I still use my blank. But you need you need the blanks to open the secret rooms. So I'm just being stupid, getting caught on a freaking sign. I didn't notice that when I was actually playing. That's why I almost got blown up right there by that grenade. And just looking through all the rooms, looking for the secret room. All enemies shoot differently, all based on appearance. Very fun. Basic for the little enemies right there. Jump over the gap. Ooh, look for secret rooms because I embarrassed myself. I think this. Uh, no, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> Use left control to switch guns. Many. If you have two or more guns, hold left control to slow time and pick the one you want. Many. And it is the AK-47. Normal gun. Gotta shoot walls for secrets. I don't know why I have the pea shooter back out. It is a horrible gun that should never be used. Yep, oh, see? That's what it's supposed to look like. Clear out these enemies and then I talk about how it looks. And then luckily, the game actually gives me a blank here, which I need. So, if you shoot a wall and the secret room is on the other side of that wall, you'll get those little cracks right there. So, you need a blink to open it up, or you need like an exploding weapon, like just bombs or something, but I don't have anything like that. Yep, there's the secret room. Got a two couple items. Old Knight's shield, heavy with experience. Old Knight's helm. I know it's, it's protects knowledge. So that little blue arrow you saw, and that little animation right down there, is uh, a synergy, and that's how I had that little rotating thing right there. So that's kind of what I you want in this game, is synergies. Old Knight Shield has joined the loadout. And Old Knight's Helm. Old Knight's Helm. Protect knowledge. A sturdy, if modest, helmet, once worn by a knight with an unusually large head. Oh, knight nice shield. Heavy with experience. The shield of Sir Manuel. Emblazoned with his health signal, sigil, sigil, the cup of knowledge. There is a diagram on the back illustrating how to strap on the shield and examples of when to raise it. Remarkably free of wear. I needed these items to uh, get uh, all the achievements. So, pea shooter, baby's first gun. I didn't. Oh yeah, I had a, if you get one of those items, you also get a synergy with the pea shooter, which makes it big and the bullets big and explode. So here's that little place where I was being stupid before. Just a little exit area. <laughs> and now we move up. And now we fight a boss. I'm just looking at the shield. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I don't... Oh, I'm talking about how, what it gave me, the shield and the helm. It gave me those three armor, or four armor pieces up there. Gave me two, two each. Now we fight. Speak with me when you are ready for your final challenge. Are you ready to put all you have learned to the test? Yeah, let's do this. Then, face me in single combat. Just teleport away and over there. Let's begin. That's a little fork field at first. These bullets move so slow. <laughs> and just annihilate him pretty easily. Cease fire, cease fire. Unlocked the pea shooter. Hegemony credits accepted galaxy wide. I always call those harmony credits or something like that. I'm not sure why. Wait, that shield. You found my shield, which means you know my terrible secret. It's true, I never conquered the Gungeon. I'm no longer sure this even is the Gungeon. Oh, humiliating. It's all that bastard's fault. 
Whose fault? I suspected as much. Bye! <laughs> Yeah, who's blocked? Who's fault? That snake blocked me. We're supposed to be friends or something. But shortly after we arrived, I was shot in the back. When I woke, I was trapped in I was trapped in some kind of chest. I called out for help, but no one came. I'm sure it was him who shot me. I think he wanted to Oh, I just re I think he wanted to come for himself, but he must have not made it. How do you know he didn't make it? Complete the story. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Because if Blocknir had changed the past, he would have never come to the country, and neither would I. But I'm still here, so he must have left. Or maybe he's stuck in the country too. It would serve that best to the right. If you find him, tell Manny says hi, if you know what I mean. You want me to kill him? Got it. Anyway, I've got nothing left to teach you. Good luck with the country and your past. So I just realized that that guy is a ghost, and that skeleton we found with his shield and his helmet is his actual body. So, uh, yikes. I just realized that. And we're back in the breach, and now we can actually do the run. Only, like, 15 minutes in. Checking all the being, the being rude. I was looking at all the secret other rooms other secret rooms and now we get to go in all right so here is where I will say what I want to do with the channel so I think into the gungeon will be best when we are starting out since it's something I know pretty well and it's something I can have a series of like I will find different weapons I'll find different characters different NPCs so hopefully I can oh, pet the dog. Gotta pet the dog. so that's what I'm planning on doing for a good amount of time but I also have games that I uh, will like to play including Dark Souls because I, I just love that game I know other people like it um, except for I don't really like PvP I usually do like a Challenge, challenges like bow only runs, magic only, you know, stuff like that. Pretty fun stuff. Um, and then yeah, Ex expand to other games too. Let's see here. Yeah. I'm just looking on my Steam account right now. Ah, uh, I could do some. Uh, what are they called? Crap. Smite League. Mobas, that's what they're called. I'm not very good at them, but playing one match, making a video, I could see that being pretty good. And then just like other games, I have a good amount. I have PS4 games, I have Switch games that I can. Ooh, I got the knife shield. And uh, some armor. Let's. Alright, I'm seeing what it says. P shooter, join. Ooh, great. Rusty sidearm. Still works mostly. Infinite ammo. So, here I say this is a weapon that can't reveal secret walls, and then it already says that in the next sentence, and then I just laugh at myself because I don't read. Nice. Ah, uh, blah blah blah. Brought to the gungeon by the hunter, despite its extreme date design, some rust, you know, still works. Crossbow, the original. One of the earliest examples of trigger fired projectiles. That is the weapon that I like using. And for the hunters. Knife shield. Use again or yeah, use again to launch. It's an active. The knife shield is a shield made of blasphemous knives. Be wary of using it as it is believed to bring on the anger of the jammed. And here I'm explaining that the jammed are basically stronger versions of all the basic enemies like they're a little red and have black smoke coming off of them they have like more health um, if when their bullets hit you if you don't have any armor you'll take two points instead of just one dog junior two a faithful companion finds items in on root room clears keeps the hunter company he sure has a good nose for treasure but all attempts to train him 
in combat have pet. Pet the dog. So it's a rule, you gotta pet the dog after he finds something. And unfortunately I don't find, I don't think he finds anything from me in this run. Which is actually insane. <laughs> oh, that's not showing. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, that's a gemmed enemy right there that's chasing me. It's kind of hard to tell that that one was jammed when I was first playing, but if you compare him to the normal color of these things, I think they're called like globules, globules or something like that. He's a lot dark, dark redder, dark redder. Yeah, no, that's a word. <laughs> a lot more dark red. I just pull out my crossbow because I got sick of him. Usually those things aren't hard to fight. Or aren't hard to kill but they split off into different enemies and since every single one of them have more health they're just way too healthy to use a basic weapon. Ah, just running through, almost get hit by a ghost, but great. <laughs> I hate those little flying things, they're all different. Pet the dog because I can. Blue chest. Very nice. Looking for secret rooms. I think I actually find a really fun item in this run, but it doesn't do me any good. What else was I talking about? I was pointing at the boss room. Oh, I was talking about how I want to find more chests before I do the boss, so hopefully I can get a better weapon. Because the crossbow is a good weapon, in my opinion, but only for the earlier stages, only our rooms. So, and since it only has one bolt per clip, I, you, it's just not very good for bosses. Moving on, here's the, oh yeah, I'm not doing any of the secret floors, so I'm not even worrying about that barrel over there. I don't think I even broke it, so. Oh, uh, the JK-47, a little joke weapon, get it, JK? Just kidding, huh? Funny. Alright, <laughs> moving on. Let's see. Oh, this room. Just blow up the barrel. Get out of the way of the other one. Check if that's a mimic, because those are in this game. So, look at me missing all my shots. What, missing more? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I didn't realize I was missing this much. Oh, wow. Alright. Got Got it. Good job. Uh running around, there's the secret room, just breaking barrels and boxes because I feel like it. Last room, another chest room, checking for mimics, checking for hidden rooms, didn't find any. Oh, I remember what I was talking about when I was circling the boss room. I was saying how most of the secret rooms come in either chest rooms or behind the boss room and if it's not there it's usually in the shop so it's like oh it'd probably be after this room here what is this oh, I, I can't remember what the boss's name oh it's not right down there the Gatalinkle each boss has a little animation that I was skipping throughout this entire run I almost got nailed by a rocket right there Try to break that up, but it was, didn't go too well. This move is super easy to dodge, so I just stood there. This move, I always find it easier to just run around in circles, dodging. Here's that one move again, but I just dodged out of the way. Shooting, well, I almost dead. One more. I'm just going through my next item. Just a little later, but yeah. <laughs> So I actually, ooh, I unlocked the Shield of Maiden. So this one, I actually flawless, so I get a little health upgrade. You can see how I got a fourth part up in my, up in the top left. Shield of Maiden, Maiden has joined the Heck Blaster. Whoa, Nelly, extremely rapid fire used by a wiggly hero in the early days of the gun. So I was talking about how Almost all of these guns, if not all of these guns, are references to 
other games, movies, TV shows. And unfortunately, I do not get most of them because I don't watch very many movies or TV shows. So the mess around the first chamber. This very rare artifact indicates mastery of the first chamber. What is that even? <laughs> Apocryphal text recover recovered from cultists of the order indicate that the gun and the bullet are somehow linked. Nice. I don't know what it gave, what that means. Oh look, I think that was the secret room right there. Actually. I can see a little crack in the top left. Oh wow. <laughs> If I just noticed that earlier, or when I was actually playing. Ooh, I shouldn't have opened the chest, considering what I get in the next one. So the M1911. Classic. The ancient design fire, the ancient designs fire simple lead projectiles from a moderately sized cliff and the right hand, this weapon is a force to be reckoned with. Nice. I don't think I used that weapon at all. So I'm using my beginner weapon. Oh, fuck. This is fun. Oh, yep, there he is. Look at him. His name is Sir Junkin. He is an amazing companion. Junk. Next time. Who is he? Dot, dot, dot. I don't know why he said dots after the who is he. Strange sentient junk. It appears eager to join you on your quest. So the cool thing about him is he's pretty useless until you get more junk, which I have. And you get junk from breaking the chest. And you can see how he has a little helmet now. So he's, he's getting uh, geared up for, for battle. Junk. Knight in shining armor. Just some junk. So yeah, here it is. Next, uh, how it says next time dot dot dot. You, um, Wait, who is he or whatever it says? Normally, it would say next time just use a key. But since I have Junkington before I picked up any junk, I got the Knight in Shining Armor instead of the next time who is he. See, you can see the little crack up there. 